Hey guys, it's me. Um, I'm literally just filming in my pajamas because I'm not doing anything right now. I'm just chilling until I have to go to work. But this is going to be my August 2014 favorites. And I'm going to get started with hair products. You guys, like if you don't know me, I've been wearing my hair curly, natural for the past, um, I want to say eight months probably. Well, I did straighten it. I think earlier in the year but then I stopped so um, I want to start with hair products and I've been starting to use bedhead from TG and I usually don't don't worry that's email um, I usually don't use bedhead because I always thought for a long time it's for no disrespect to my white friends but I thought it was for just the white people like their hair type straight and fine but they have it for every hair type this is called spoil me the Frizzer Smoothing Hairspray, and I use this on my next day hair after washing because um, I try to reduce the frizz. I get really dry back here, um, and also my ends and the top just to kind of smooth everything out, but I just give it a spray like this, and it just kind of keeps the flyaways in check, but I love their stuff because it smells like candy, all of their products, and they have like really funny names. Um, so yeah, this is to me like something I have to use before I go out the door. Um, next is, this is After Party, and you basically squeeze a little bit out, or, or how much you need, and that's what it is. Um, you smooth it, and then I usually put it on top here and my ends, and this also smells really good. Like, I, I have to put this in the next day, or for um, the next couple of days before I wash my hair. I give my hair at least three days and then I wash it or four days. Um, as you guys know, in um, African American women, our hair is more coarse, curly, frizzy, um, and we tend to damage it more with so many products that we have to let it just sit for a couple of days without washing. Um, our hair needs oil, it needs as much, as much moisture as possible, so that's why we don't have to wash it as, mo as most girls with straight or wavy hair that have to wash it every other day. Um, but I try to go at least three to four days and then I wash my hair. Um, that's when I start noticing my curls getting looser. Then, Foxy Curls. I really love this. This smells like straight up Skittles. Like, I, I love it every time I pump it because... I use this right when I wash my hair and I'm towel drying a little bit or air drying. I put this right in my hair because it says use on wet hair. These products you can get at Target, Walgreens, um, but I found all these I believe at Target except for I think the spray. I'm not sure which, where did I find that, but yes, I got them at Target and they range from like 17 to 20 bucks a piece because they're considered salon um, products. Next, we're going to get into skincare, and I was saying in my blog, my August blog, that we now have these mineral elixirs from Bare Minerals, and if you guys don't know, I work for Bare Minerals, their outlet. I'm not paid to do this video or tell you to go out and buy it, but I'm just saying this stuff is freaking awesome. I got this in my gratis for our training about a week and a half ago in the city, and basically with this mineral elixir, this is an oil cleanser, and it has... Um, rose hips in it and a lot of other natural oils in it but what you do is you pump it twice or three times or how many I think it's twice you rub it in your hands and then you just wipe it as you still have makeup on the face and it will melt all the makeup off so I like to remove my eye makeup first and then I go in with this and then you turn on the water and then it will um, start making a milky type of consistency and then you just wipe it all off and rinse it off with the mineral elixir. I believe this goes for, I'm not sure about the price range, I know it's um, online now and in stores at Sephora, Macy's and the Bear Boutiques. We the outlets don't have it because we're outlets, we have discontinued products and colors but we still do carry the foundations and skincare but not this one. Um, I want to say this is between $20 and $28. I'm not sure. And I've been loving the L'Oreal, not L'Oreal, sorry, Maybelline um, Clean Express Makeup Remover. And it's funny because Nicole Guerrero just did a video about her skincare routine updated. And she said she was using this. And I swear I'm not copying her because I've been using mine. But 
um, I saw this on sale at Target for just $2.48 when it's usually $4.99. So I thought, hey, why not give it a try? And I actually really like this stuff. Um, as you guys know, I'm into the simple makeup wipes and the simple eye makeup remover. But for some reason, the makeup remover is so hard to find out. I don't know why. Um, I had to buy two at CVS, but they're expensive at CVS. Um, so I might just stick with Maybelline. I still have two of the other ones I'll finish, and then I'll probably go back to Maybelline. And as far as skincare, here we go again. Bare Minerals. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not paid to do this, but this is their purifying um, facial cleanser. And all you need is one pump, and it will go a long way. These should last you about up to six months or a year. Six fluid ounce. And this is all natural with active soil complex. You just rinse with this. And then you put on your uh, facial moisturizer. This is the purely nourishing moisturizer. And this is for combination because I have combo oily skin. Um, this retails, the cleanser I believe is 20 And then this might be 25 or 23 for the face. But we have starter kits too that you can always check out if you're kind of skeptical on trying it. Next is fragrances. And like I told you guys a while back... I don't like to buy full bottles because I never will finish them. I only have one bottle, and that is the um, Escada, their summer one, and it's Born in Paradise, I think it's called. That one I really love, and I actually am using. It's almost halfway, like, down to here. I've been using the Marquesa Rollerball, and I really love this. Um, I just saw it in Sephora months ago, and I was just like, I'll try it. And it's really, I would say it smells like luxury. Let's just say that. Smells like luxury. I also got, this is new, the Oh So Sexy um, perfume from Victoria's Secret. And it's more vanilla which is weird because I don't go for vanilla-based um, perfumes. I go for more florals and some citrus. But this just caught my nose because it was so sweet but yet, like, sensual. And I'm so cheap. I've had this for a while. This is the Chloe Roses, the Roses de Chloe perfume. I really want the full size one point ounce, but it's 70 bucks, and I'm just like, do I really want to pay 70 bucks for that one point ounce? Mm. If somebody wants to be nice and buy it for me for Christmas, maybe, or even like now, like early Christmas present, that'd be nice. But I've been using this little um, sample spray that Sephora sent me in the mail. Next is nails. Um, everybody's been raving about these... Um, Sally Hansen Miracle, Miracle Gels, and this is the top coat. This came in a pack, I uh, believe for $14, but I had a Walgreens um, Balance Rewards coupon, and I got this for $18, off, and then it was 8 I had to think. Um, this color is called Street Flare, but I also have Birthday Suit, which is the nude color. I haven't worn that yet, but I really like these. They say they're supposed to last about 14 days. I give it about a week and a half, somewhat, or just a week. But if it lasts a week, that's fine with me. Um, these go for like $9 a pop at most drugstores. Next, the color I'm wearing on my nails right now, and I just did them, is called Old San Juan from Julie G's um, Summer Collection. I know summer's almost over, but I really wanted to try her polishes because I've been a fan of Julie G on YouTube for like, oh my god, five years I've been watching her videos. She's just, like, so motivating. She, this is her own makeup line. Um, I makeup line her. Nail polish line. And they're available at Rite Aid. But if you don't have Rite Aid near you, like she says, you can go online to www.jessiesgirls.com. And uh, also, I got it in Santorini. It's very pretty blue. And this purple is called Rio de Janeiro. And I love I love this color. And I got a lot of compliments on them, on the color. And these go for $3.99. Next is makeup. Well, more makeup, of course. Um, I've been loving the Ready, Set, Gorgeous from CoverGirl. Um, I'm not usually into CoverGirl, like I said in a, a while back in a video that I'm not a fan, but I have been sticking to this powder and this concealer. What color is this? Medium. And this really is nice under my eyes because I have really dark circles, as you can kind of see. Um, and this powder goes perfect together. And I feel like I'm going to keep using this powder. Hopefully they don't discontinue this line and they keep it because I really, really like it. And CoverGirl, I give you two thumbs up because usually I don't go for your stuff. But you guys have me at the concealer and this powder. And 
we got a highlighter from Becca Cosmetics, which has been getting all the rave, like, from spring and summer. Um, these go for, I think, $29. This is the opal, of course, that everybody's been raving about. Everyone from Jacqueline Hill to um, Missy Lynn to someone else was talking about it. I wonder if Nicole Guerrero was talking about it. I'm not sure. But everybody's been talking about it. And this, to me, is even way better than Max. Um, not Whisper of Guilt, because I want that one. But there's another highlight they have. Oh, um, Soft and Gentle. Is that right? Am I, or, I don't remember. I'm saying it probably wrong. But they have a popular highlight. And I feel like this is way better and way finer. And you can like easily get really brightened with just one sweep. Next, I know this is going to look like I'm just promoting Bare Minerals, but 5-in-1 um, BB um, Cream Eye Shadow. You can wear this as a shadow by itself, or you can use it as a base like I do. Um, I got it in Soft Linen, Peach Candlelight, or Candlelight Peach, and then uh, Radiant Sand. I, um, again, I work for the company, and these are also gratis for me, so... These are mostly like nude colors that kind of just go on my eye and I use them as a base. And then I put my shadow on top. Um, not sure how much they are individually, but I know there's also sets that they come in. And also Bare Minerals Lash Domination. I've been using like crazy. It's not that bad. Like a lot of people said they weren't too sure about it, but it's like 360. Like it has a twist to it. So it's like a in a twist form, the wand, and you just kind of you know, twist up like you usually do to apply mascara. This, I believe, is 18 or $20 at boutiques and at Macy's. Um, of course, we don't have it. We have the regular mascaras, the basic ones, or ones that have been discontinued. And I think I already talked about this last month's favorites, but again, is Milani's Runway Lashes, $4.99 at drugstores. I love, love, love this mascara. I can never put this down. I'm always using it almost every other day between the Lash Domination and, and this one here. $4.99 at your local drugstore. Also, I've been using the Primetime Brightening Eye Primer. Again, you can use the BB 5-in-1 uh, or you can use these. This is also from Bare Minerals. I like the brightening because it makes the color pop. So it has a little bit of a shimmer and it's brightening. And it brings the color of your shadows more, more vibrant. And last but not least is Jessie's Girl Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner Pen. And Julie G was talking about this forever. She's been talking about this for years and years and years and years and all that good stuff. And I just said, you know what, I'm going to try it because Julie G keeps raving about this. And I like her cosmetic or her nail line, her color line. So I said, let me just try it. And you know what, it's not bad. Um, I feel like this might outbeat my Stila Liquid All Day Waterproof liquid liner which I think to me is not even waterproof because I have allergies and once it's in like the tear duct section right here it's already melting off or just smearing and I feel like Stila's $20 liquid liner versus Jessie's Girl $6.99 liquid liner they're about the same thing I should just stick it out with this guy or if I find like a cheaper drugstore one but I feel like this guy's a winner and as far as accessories, I picked these earrings. I've been wearing these actually nonstop all summer. So this can be like a summer favorite. This is um, a set of earrings I got online at forever21.com. And I believe I only paid $3 for these. And it's kind of like, you can't really see because the lighting here is a little weird. It's gold and a little bit of rose gold mixed together. Because the rhinestones that are in here kind of give you almost a rose gold feel. But I've been wearing these almost all summer. I've got a lot of compliments on them, too. Um, a lot of people think I got them at Charming Charlie's, which I like that store, too. But, no, got them online at Forever 21. And, yeah, you guys, this is my August 2014 favorites. I hope you like. Please subscribe. Um, leave any comments down below if you have any questions. Follow me at LadyPineapple26 on Twitter. Thanks, you guys, and toodles.